Hello and welcome to my Chimera State YouTube channel. I received many comments regarding my personal Samsung Neo QLED Q95P picture settings and in this video I want to show you the settings I use for gaming, watching movies on Netflix and Amazon Prime and also the picture settings changes I do when watching videos on YouTube. I also have additional tips for you on how to get the most brightness out of your Q95P and also discuss some of the new features of the recent software update 1302. But let's get started with the picture settings in game mode. While the game mode on the Q95A was oversaturated, I like the standard game mode setting on the Q95B because it is very well balanced. The Q95B comes with 5 presets and an additional custom option, but honestly the changes to the image appearance are very minute. That brings us to my picture settings for watching movies on Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. By the way, you can quickly access the most important settings using the horizontal bar that appears when clicking on the menu and then settings. Personally, I don't like to use the intelligent mode, I always keep it switched off. For watching movies I prefer the pre-calibrated filmmaker mode, it is generally darker than the dynamic and standard mode and you might want to maximize the brightness settings. The other settings I usually leave unchanged. If your overall image appears too dark, go all the way to the end of the horizontal menu and select power and energy savings. There you need to uncheck the brightness optimization in order to achieve maximum brightness on the Q95B. Unfortunately, every time there is a new software update, you need to uncheck this setting again. Also important to note is that the power and energy saving options need to be adjusted in each and every single picture mode. Instead of using the horizontal bar, you can also access the expert settings by clicking on all settings on the very left. Let's have a look at my filmmaker mode settings. I haven't used the smart calibration yet, but I'm still planning to try it and shoot a video about it. Let's switch to YouTube, where I prefer to use the standard mode, which I adjusted to my personal likings.
That brings us to the sound settings. Samsung finally added an equalizer that gives you the opportunity to adjust up to 7 frequency bands. This is very helpful if you encounter distortion, especially on the lower bass frequencies, which is around 100Hz. There's also Dolby Atmos, a feature that is supported by some movies on the popular streaming platforms. If it bothers you that your PlayStation or Xbox turns on automatically while using your remote, I would highly recommend turning off the AnyNet Plus connection in the external device manager. Very important to know is that depending on which source you selected, not all settings are available. On YouTube, Netflix or Amazon Prime, it is not possible to change the language, for example. Now you're wondering why you might need to change the language. Well, there's a current problem with the Amazon Prime Video app. If your language is set to German, the movies play in very low quality and not even in full HD, but switching the language of your Samsung TV to English fixes that problem. So in order to be able to select all settings, you have to switch to TV mode under the menu Connected Devices. Here you can also change the language settings. One thing I noticed updating on the latest software version 1302 is that pressing the home button on your remote directs you to the Samsung Game Hub. I may be wrong, but there seems to be no way of changing it back to the default home hub. If you want to avoid automatic software updates, you can do so by deselecting the auto update function under the support and software update menu. 
I hope this video was helpful. For more tips, tricks and updates on the Q95B, give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. See you next time. Auf Wiedersehen.